Okay, welcome back to our final video uh, as an introduction to MobiRise and the different elements in MobiRise. Um, the last one that we're going to look at is the footers. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find the footer sections. And there are one, two, three, four blocks for the footers. So these are four different styles of footers that you can use for your website. And let's just go through some of the uh, block parameters and the different styles. So let's click on the first one. You'll notice that once you've added one, it'll tell you that you've added it, but you're actually able to add more blocks on top of it. So you can have a couple of different types of footers, or um, you could have a copyright underneath uh, one of these more stylistic footers. This one here has uh, your logo to the left, or you could change the image to pretty much anything. Uh, it doesn't have to be a logo. Maybe you want to put the an image of your um, what your building looks like or something like that. Um, but it can be your logo. Uh, so you would just do that by clicking on the image itself and then it brings you to this page. Um, and then you would click on change image and it'll give you your explorer. So let's say uh, let's say I wanted I did want to put my logo on there. Um, Let's go to my logo and we'll use, we'll just use this one. And so now you can see this is going to be my logo that it puts in there. If I wanted to link it, let's say back to the top of the page, um, you might select index or an easier way would just be to select top. So this is an anchor tag. We haven't talked much about anchor tags, uh, only a little bit. And then if you go back to the navigation video, uh, you'll see how we've uh, linked up um, using the hashtag. That's called an anchor tag or an anchor link. And so this link is not a something.com. It's actually internal to this page. You can link different parts of this page together. So that when you click it, it scrolls down the page or up the page. Uh, again, you should always be putting alt text and title text. And then we would click OK. And then now we have our, our image here. We could change the background color, so that's set off a little bit more if we wanted to. And then these are just regular uh, pieces of text, so you just highlight it and then change the text. It's that simple. You could have anything here. You could have the address. You could change this to um, A link so that when you highlight it you click on link and then let's say we wanted to do that and open it in a new window uh, you could also link it to a different page on your website pages that you've created or again you could link it to a different part of the of this page itself so a lot of power there and then you would insert the link and then now you can see that it is a clickable link so maybe you want a list of links here and here and here this gives you three sections to be able to input text and then the block parameters here are pretty pretty uh, scant so all you have is a background image so you could put some sort of image in there again we have the parallax effect the overlay and then the opacity or you could choose a color. So you could choose it to be a different color <clears throat> to set off uh, your footer from the rest of the website. And then you can go through and you can make changes um, to these block level elements. You can change their color to be darker. You can change this to be maybe a lighter color. And you can see here, these are links. so. The links are going to be treated a little bit differently uh, individually, but this text here is going to be treated, um, all the text in the footer is going to be treated the same. So that is the first footer. Let's take a look at the second footer. Again, you can add these right on top of each other. So if you want a specific footer with information here, and then you want a different kind of footer here, uh, you can just add in that information. There's a lot of flexibility in adding the footers to your website. 
this is uh, an interactive map just like we had talked about in a previous video the parameters here uh, some of them are for the map so this would be a parameter for the map and all you have to do is input an address I only put Chicago so it lands me right in downtown and then uh, <clears throat> you can put a tooltip or you can take the tooltip off so if you wanted to add your address there or you wanted to add some sort of direction or um, the name of your company whatever you wanted to put uh, you can actually add that as a tooltip on top of the actual um, the pointing uh, specifically to where your company is so if you go down you can if you put an address it would obviously be put right on the <clears throat> right on the building and then again you can make the same sort of changes uh, to these these are all head headers so it's going to change them all globally these are all text so it's actually going to change them uh, globally as well and then for each of these link elements it's going to make them uh, a different color but you'll have to do each of the links individually it won't change all of the links um, as you go through them so that is footer number two and let's take it this one this is a different style so instead of a map this one actually has a contact form in it you've seen that just a basic contact form uh, it can be not basic it can have all the same parameters that your contact form uh, that we talked about in a previous video has so if you wanted to gather all of this information you can to change that you just click on any of these and then checking it means you can see here that this does not exist it's not going to show that's what that means or it will show and then you can click inside of here and you can change any of these elements <clears throat> to be included anything that you include here I believe it has to be included uh, in order to send the message so if you don't necessarily need their phone number I would leave that off because they're gonna need the phone number in order to be able to send the message and then you could change <clears throat> the email address there and this is the email address where once this is sent it's going to go to this email address and the information in the form fields is going to be put into an email format and emailed to someone so you can put that in there <clears throat> and then this is the success message so once the email has been sent successfully this will show and the people will be able to see okay my email went through I should expect to hear from them so you click OK and then now we've made the changes to full name and email address and then you can make changes here to the color so you have a maybe set it off with white or if you wanted a red button you could have a red button um, this just like here exactly the same so once you change this um, to a different color then it's going to change all of the headers the text is going to change all together and then the links you're going to have to change individually so um, there's one final footer you can see that we've added three and you can't add two of the same you can only add one section but you can add them all on top of one another like this and then finally there's just a very very basic copyright you can see your copyright uh, 2000 I guess we could go with 16 and then you could input your own name I will put my company name <clears throat> and then you know you can jazz that up or do whatever you want this would be a good place for a privacy policy where you could link or unlink uh, that text so it would show it would show it as a link an active link and then again you can change the color of the link if you want to that would be a white link this would be a blue so you can change that and you could change this one too instead of gray 
we could have as blue. And so that really sets it off nicely down at the bottom. Um, your block parameters here are only to show a background image or to change the background color. So if you wanted a white one to kind of set off between the footer and the, uh, the very bottom copyright footer, um, then you could do that as well. If you don't want any of this kind of stuff, you could simply remove the blocks and have a very basic footer to your website. Uh, you could add more <clears throat> if you just type in here. Um, if you just wanted a set of links down here about uh, contact, then you would just go through here like this, highlight it. I'm just using a dummy link at this point. <clears throat> and then you could have a nice little um, you got your copyright and then just a few links at the bottom if you wanted kind of a simplified footer at the bottom of your website. So uh, a lot of different options and that is footers. It's all the way, so this is the top, it's all the way down at the bottom. So you can choose which footer that you want to add to your MobiRise website. Okay, so we've made it to the end of all the elements and um, I hope you've enjoyed this tour and this introduction through it, and I, I can't wait to see the websites that are going to come out of this, uh, this instructional course. There are more things to be learned about MobiRise. Um, I'll also be uh, just a plug. If you want to go up a package, then there will also be some uh, opportunities to get ideas, um, download some templates and some project files uh, to help get you started. Uh, I am a web developer and designer, and so that would be me creating some designs for you to just imp implement very quickly, and I'll show you how to do that uh, in another video. Also, we're going to cover publishing, uh, how to go through the publish. Uh, you already know about previewing in the browser, and then we'll go through some things, uh, administrative things like uh, creating a new site, creating new pages, linking the pages together and making this uh, a complete website as opposed to just a bunch of individual elements on the page. But thanks for watching and uh, check out some of the other videos if you get stuck or if you have any questions uh, you can email me. Thanks.